Welcome to Late Night with Cutie. I'm happy to have you here. I'm happy to have your friends here and your moms and dads. Now it's time to get to the news, everybody. Time to get to the news. As you guys know, here at Late Night with Cutie, we like to uh, see what's been happening this past week in the stream of sphere. Bad news to start off our news cap this week. If you guys didn't know, Brandon the Great TV was assaulted on stream by a group of teens that shot him with BB guns, threatened to rob him, and followed him around and slapped him in the head. They backed away when he entered the train station to find an office. He's okay and not injured. Be aware and careful out there. There are mean teenagers. I'm a witness to this. I had a bunch of teenagers that were really mean to me when I was trying to play basketball the other day. So everyone needs to go out there, find a teenager and say something mean to them. It doesn't matter if it was these teenagers, any teenager you find, be mean to them. That is the message that I'm sending from QDC News. However, here's the clip. Yo, what? you guys want to do it? You guys are on camera, dude. You guys shooting me with BBs? What are, what are you up to? Shut the up. Come on, man. Are hey, right, you guys want me on camera? Yeah. Yeah, try something. I'm live right now. You guys are on, on view with uh, hundreds of people, dude. All right, f off, dude. Get out of here. I don't know about you guys, but I thought those scooters were pretty cool, and I'm kind of on the kid's side. And I don't think I'm the only one. Up next in news this week. Elijah's was unable to finish the Swedish classic during a charity stream. I don't know if I'm saying his name right because it's kind of a hard name to say. Elijah's raised 116K during a charity stream where he was competing in the Swedish classic, a race where you participate in a cross country skiing about 90 kilometers, cycling 300 kilometers, swimming three kilometers, and a cross country riding 30 kilometers during a 12 month period. Due to the weather and lighting issues, the event was cut short, causing him and others, later groups being told that they are not allowed to continue and finish the skiing portion, which is devastating. It is insane because it's the reason there's so many people there is because it's the hundredth year and with these weather conditions and there's no tracks I don't understand how they can cut it so early So so many people are not gonna make it like if you start in the back There's no way you'll make it ever big bummer and sad news happening today However, we do have some good news and of course all good news involves phasing up <laughs> However, something spooky's going on. If you don't know that after the merger, Banks is officially the CEO of FaZe. And to celebrate, they've unfollowed everyone and they have made their profile black. Banks tweeted out that he has the passwords back and clearly we've learned that he does not know how to set a profile picture or a banner. We did have a, a quote from FaZe that says, we're making money, we're snapping necks, we're cashing checks. All I ask, ride with me into battle. It's gonna get dark, baby. And the rest of us here at FaZe Clan, we are getting that tattooed on our lower backs. So if you guys are in, phase up with me now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Snapping next, baby. You know us at FaZe. What happens if I don't? You have to leave. I ain't paying child support, phase up. Sentinels is victorious at the first VCT Americas tournament of 2024, and they've qualified for VCT Masters Madrid, baby. Let's watch it as it two happens. Two dropping one, it's a two versus two. Right inside, trying to stick it, another one to fall. It's all up to Zek, who does get the kill. Trying to stick this fight, and it gets to the fuse. With the Red Bull Clutch, and Sentinels are going to be your Americas kickoff champions. Big deal for fans like me. I love that game and I'm really happy that they made it. And I definitely know what that means. And I heckin' love tens. That's right. We're going to Madrid, baby. See you there. Where's Madrid? Spain? Yes. In other news, NASA launched a Dragon Rising, hashtag Crew8. NASA still thinks that hashtags are relevant, but no one's gonna tell them otherwise. Including three of our astronauts is headed to the space station after launching at 10.53 ET on March 3rd. They're expected to arrive at 3 a.m. on March 5th, I believe. Three, two, one, ignition. Engine full power and lift off of NASA Crew 8. Go Falcon, go SpaceX, and go NASA. Endeavor ascends a beacon of human ambition. 
3.7 million pounds of thrust now propelling Falcon 9 and Crew 8. Unfortunately, shortly after that clip, uh, it ended because they found out that the Earth was flat and they didn't want to tell us, so. Pokimane is in the news, everybody. She's in the news. If you didn't see this, you're not following the right accounts. Because Pokimane said that streaming is really, really hard. There's a lot of context that we need to include here. It's really important that people don't take this out of context because there's been a lot of drama about this topic. But she did, in fact, say that streaming is the hardest job ever. Uh, here's the context. <laughs> Actually, I did stream off of a laptop when I first started. No. Did I get a custom PC then? Well, like years ago, I used to stream off of a laptop, but well, maybe game off of a laptop, but never stream. Streaming is so hard <laughs> off of a laptop. <laughs> that was not me saying streaming is so hard, by the way. Streaming, stream, st streaming is not the hardest job you can have for sure, by far. I do not think streaming is a difficult job. I just want to make that very clear. You heard it here, folks. She thinks streaming is very hard. She made it very clear. Very true. All right, The Mountain. You guys know he streams sometimes half or half, half, half Thor. I just call him Thor, honestly, we're friends like that. He has returned to the strong man, included a thousand and six pound deadlift. He uh, dominated the elephant bar deadlift event at the Arnold Strongman Classic. Let's check it out, baby boys. For the win. What else did you expect? <laughs> Thor Bjornsson yeah. is back! <laughs> you know, as somebody that's still competing, I'm still such a fan of this sport. Yeah. And I'm to back. be able to watch that yeah. is so cool. He's back, baby! And that's exactly what Ludwig looks like when he's picking up Shake Drizzle. In exciting news, Finster is coming out, baby! Wow, I'm so surprised! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So you might have noticed for the last six months or so, when someone asks on stream, or on Twitter, or Reddit or something, Is Finn on HRT? I, uh, I just avoid the question. I avoid the question entirely and make a little joke, and that's solely because- Finster has come out! This is huge, this is awesome, very exciting news, and we need some good news in this week because we've got some Twitch news next. Twitch tweeted that in 2024, they're focused on building products, tools, programs to help grow your communities and make streaming more rewarding, fun, and safe. Read the new open letter from CEO Dan Clancy to see some of the work we're committed to this year. I decided not to. Instead, I decided to see this TLDR. Uh, Discovery feed will be the default experience on mobile. I don't know what that means. Guest star updates, excited. Export clips to Instagram, excited. Clip editor added to mobile, excited. ISO gets mobile mod view, not excited. I think mods should be working harder. I do not believe that mods should leave their homes and mod on mobile. I do believe that mods should only be able to mod on their PC where they belong when I am streaming. I do not think that mods should look away from my channel. That just means they're a bad mod and they're not committed to doing things to, for me for free. So I don't like that one. Expanded sponsorships product. I don't know what that means, but I'm excited for it. Thank you, Twitch. Thank you for the open letter. Next, in sad news, we don't like Warner Brothers. I don't know if we ever did. I don't know anything about them besides that they used to produce the Looney Tunes, and I did like the Looney Tunes, which is cool. But unfortunately, they are shutting down Rooster Teeth. After 21 years, Warner Brothers is closing Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth is a groundbreaking online production company that started in 2003 with the Halo-based comedy Red vs. Blue. This is really sad for us, and we're mad. All I know is that I'm sad about it, and so is the rest of chat. <sighs> but something I was more sad about this last week was this man, a fallen soldier taken down by twitch.tv. It's true. If you are a fan of this guy, I understand what you had to go through this past week. Slime was temporarily banned for advocating, <laughs> advocating trauma towards others. And I simply don't believe that because I went to his stream and I watched for a long time and I found these clips. You watch this, Nick? Nick? That's crazy. 14 months and you want to talk about music while I'm losing my f***ing mind. He is my favorite wholesome streamer and I stand by everything he's ever done. Kill yourself. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh my god. I hope that guy's a kid and then the kid gets SIDS to say that it was f***ing miserable playing with you, Cypher. Please don't play the game again. Do something else. Anyway, I'm mad. 
and I don't think my comfy wholesome streamer should have been banned and I was upset. He did say advocating trauma towards others. Uh, he did take a day off. He is back though. We did do some other research and this could potentially just be a ruse. Someone on Twitter tweeted the real reason slime was banned was because he said panda is for women. We don't know if he means the fast food place or the animal or both, but he denied it. He has been playing a lot of Tekken and anyone can play panda. Panda is not for women. Also, boys can eat Panda Express as well. And I don't think that's cool that he said that. And I don't stand by that. And I do think that's what got him taken down because it's Women's Month. And we do more things than just play Panda, okay? And we do more things than just eat at Panda Express. We do lots of things. We lie and we like sour candy and we get periods. Those are things we do as women. Dune part two is out, baby. We've seen it, it's awesome. And you, if you haven't seen it, you need to get into theaters right now. You gotta check this out. And if you get there soon enough, you might get the bucket. This is the famous popcorn bucket. If you haven't seen the popcorn bucket, it's really great to put popcorn in and take popcorn out. You just gotta put it, popcorn in, take it out. It's really good with a lot of butter. It makes the process easier of putting popcorn in and taking the popcorn out. It's all about the motion of the ocean. I do encourage everyone to go get the popcorn bucket and go see Dune 2. However, Dune might not be for everyone. My friend Maya Higa went to the Dune movie and she tweeted this out. She said, Dune 2 was yuck. I don't like the bald guys and the birds died. I bet your opinion is different than hers because she has a bad opinion. However, at this tweet, we did get this response. I was thinking about that stupid message in sat chat that said, did you hear the drama? I wish you were dead. That's the drama. Slime does not f with Maya. It could be part of why he was banned. I'm not entirely sure if that was it. I'm not sure, but listen, Maya's take on Dune 2 isn't always correct and her hate towards bald people clearly upset Slime. And also Connor Eats Pants had a good point. He said, you were bald when I met you. So it does feel like a bit of projecting from Maya when it comes to the bald factor. This is a her problem not an us problem, it's true. During the movie, she said, what is Dune, I'm being serious. So it turns out she is maybe dumb. Then she fell asleep during it. So don't trust Maya's movie opinions because they're bad and stupid. In cool news, Iron Forge Gym ran by my coworkers, Ms. Kiff and Knut and Fandy. I feel like Extra Emily works there, but for free, I'm not entirely sure, but she does a lot of stuff. They had a boxing tournament, which is really exciting. I think that's what it's called. I'm not entirely sure. Ms. Kiff hosted an MMI, I'm a dyslexic, MMA fighting event for over 100K viewers and sold out seats with no issues to audio at all. There was no audio issues at his event, which is really, really cool and awesome for him. This is him with some fighters. They kind of look like different versions of each other, if I'm being honest, but very cool. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> oh my God, I can hear it. it. He's just playing with them. Oh, it's, oh. Very cool. I wish they would have played some gotchy music, but unfortunately they did not. However, we did get this very emotional clip. Hey, everyone. I love you guys so much, and one last thing I want to say, guys. If anyone is struggling with mental health, addiction, substance abuse, I promise you that there is help, and you have to want it. You have to search for it. I'm a prime example of what can happen when go, you're at the bottom of the bottom, and then you come in here, and you do the damn thing. Do the damn thing, let's go. All of you can be MMA fighters if you guys just apply yourself and sign up for a membership at Iron Forge Gym. They need the memberships or they will be closing down if you live in Texas. This is an ad. He did pay me for this. Go do that. Thank you. In other news, <laughs> he did not pay me. I wish he did. In other news, my news writers are really good. There's a new TikTok trend that involves people asking their partner if they have a car with a sunroof and then asking if they would let them be a thirsty hamster. At first, you think it involves maybe a hamster driving a truck, drinking water, but after some research we found out involves a man on top of the car lying across the sunroof and the woman will act like a thirsty hamster. To be clear, there are no hamsters evolved. I don't know why you guys are shocked. I think it's really cool. I wish there were real hamsters, but unfortunately there are not. However, this is what it looks like. Oh, it doesn't. Wait, we don't even have an example. Okay, all my writers are fired. I don't f with them, if I'm gonna be honest. Jello, Biscus, you're out of here. This is your last, this is your warning. There is, oh, I didn't upload it. I am fired, this is my fault. <laughs> my apologies, I have accused them when I shouldn't have. 
it seems. Next week, we will dive deeper into the hamster trend. I won't let you guys down, we will watch. Next in the news, you guys all saw this. Disastrous real life Wally, Willy Wonka event leads to parent complaints, police shutdown, and confessions on TikTok. Yeah, you guys have seen this. There's no way you could have avoided it. A Willy Wonka immersive event was being promoted in Glasgow, Scotland, promising cool effects, endless candy, a full-on immersion entertainment of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, and paying $40 for it all to not be true. When guests arrived, they were welcomed into an empty warehouse. It was poorly decorated to look like Willy Wonka's factory, and the only candy that was given was one jelly bean per person, less than half a cup of lemonade, no chocolate was given. Guests were not happy, and the police were called to shut it down and for people to be given a refund. The company called House of Illuminati, who are the ones behind this event, came out saying, the posters promoting the event were all AI generated. They did not have time to have everything set up the way they wanted and apologized and promised everyone for a full refund, which I think is really cool. This is our last piece of news and then our guest is here and we will be moving on. Today, the House panel unanimously approves a bill that could ban TikTok. The reason for this ban is fear TikTok may pose a Chinese government spying risk. If enacted, the bill would give bite Dance, TikTok parent company, 165 days or a little more than five months to sell TikTok. If they can't, the app will be banned and unable to download on any app stores. I feel like this has been something that we've talked about for a long time. The boomers are afraid of TikTok. I think personally that I like TikTok and I'm okay with Chinese spies looking at my TikTok, but that's just me and we could all be different. We can't miss out on things like this. This is important. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you, you know that. I hope you do. What are you doing, Step Hog? What are you doing? Oh my God, what are you doing, Step Hog? Anyway, I'll be devastated if America takes this away from me and my guns and my voting rights. Thank you for hearing me out. That is the end of News with Cutie.